Okay. Let's go. Every single day I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day I'm gonna make Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today we have this Mirafell cigar, and I think it's called Mirafell Mir. So I'm gonna get a little focus a little bit. There we go. And I identified this by this window thing because I, the other one has a different window. Okay, so there is not much you know about the cigar. Uh, all the binder, filler, wrapper. All that stuff is undisclosed. This company just all of a sudden pop out of nowhere. And all of a sudden, I just see people smoking it. So, the only information I can give you is that this cigar is roughly $52 a piece. This size is called the Pyramid. It's 6 and 1 eighth by 52. And that's all the information you really can get other than the fact that this thing comes in a giant chest that has 25 cigars on each row or something like that and they sell for like thousand twelve hundred twelve hundred seventy. 1270 so it's a crazy expensive cigar it's a limited annual release of 613 chests per year and and they don't want you to know anything. So we'll give that a try. We'll see what this got. I'm trying to find how deep this cap is because like, this thing has like two different color, but the cap is tiny. The cap is the cap is tiny for a torpedo. Now you want to know where the cap ends? <clears throat> That's where the cap ends. That's all you have for a torpedo that you supposed to cut in an angle. You, can you see guys see the line? That's the see. This is not even the, this the cap is is up here. Ridiculous. All right. So since we don't have that much cap, Why? Why so little cap? Well, luckily there is some draw. Cedar. Oh, I taste cedar. Slide it up. Sorry, Sega. You're not going to get a proper treatment this time. I'm just going to light you up. $52 a car. And they don't want you to know anything about it. Cedar. A little bit bitterness. Caramel. Cinnamon. A little bit of grain. Some sort of uh, grain earthiness. Oh, here we go. This is somehow like you know, I can kind of come to expect when you get a cigar that's sent from smoke one if you have one. It's that mustiness. And he's not supposed to say mustiness anymore, but that's just what it is. It's like a damp wood. That's a little bit of sourness to it. It actually tastes okay. It tastes okay. A lot of flavor. Yeah, that damp wood sourness. I don't even think that's the right word. Citrus, sourness, 
but it was wood sour, wood woodsy sourness, like wet wood. No pepper though. No pepper. Kind of smooth of a cigar. I think there is a little bit of coffee somewhere in there too. Strength. I'll say around medium right now. Medium. Draw is not bad. Surprisingly, burn is pretty good the way I burn it. The burn came out to be pretty good. We'll see how it is. Let me smoke one third. Let me smoke through one third, take some pictures, show off, and then I'll be back. First third, um, there is not much of change. It's mostly that woodsy flavor. And then the ash came down, and I took a puff. I don't know why the draw started to get tougher as it goes, but now it has a little bit of that sweetness, a little bit of um, like a fruitiness and coffee. So it got a little bit better. There's some transition, but it's not like a flavor that you never had before. Definitely not. And for this to be a fifty dollars a guy, they don't want to tell you anything. I don't know. I don't know. Right now, at this point, one third is a at best twenty, twenty three, twenty four dollars a cigar. So, but let me smoke through the second third, and when I come back, let's take a look at the band. I'll take the after band right now if I could. Very slow. Yeah, I would. I'll just do that after. Two third the way through. Um, it gets fruity. It it has this berry fruit kind of thing going on. Um pepper on the retro hill in and out here and there. Now here is what the uh yeah, pry and butter, you know. This is their band. I get to there. So that's their band. I, I it's kinda cool. It does take some effort to cut those out, and then the the other version has like poker, you know, diamond hearts and stuff on it. This one has this kind of like light window stuff, like Egyptian feeling to it. Uh, the side has um, I want to say that's like a griffin or a something. Uh, griffin or something. I can't really tell. So. That's what they have on the band. Fruity. Okay. You know. I I think it's enjoyable, but but not $50 enjoyable. So hopefully the last third brings something different. Like I having a hard time smoking this because there's almost no cap. For me to cut on this one. Whoever decides to put a cap on this one, cheaped out. So I don't have anything to cut. And I'm really debating whether or not I should just cut it. So that I can have a good draw at the end. Um, but yeah. I keep trying to kind of work the, the tobacco out like this. So that I have some breathing room. And whenever I do it, it gets better, better. But as you smoke it, it kind of clogs back up. So... It, the enjoyment is taking away by a little bit, just a little bit. So we'll see. A little bit less dirt, and uh, we we'll go to summer. And we are done with the cigar. Last dirt, it just gets back to cedary, woodsy. A little bit of caramel. It's a good cigar. It's a 20 something dollar cigar, not a $50 cigar. I don't know why they charge $50 and not tell you everything. I guess that's their ploy to get you to pay that $50. Like, oh, let's make everything mysterious. Let's undisclose everything and charge you a lot of money for it. And you would think it's something good. I guess that's what that's the ploy. You know, that's how it works. So, um, yeah, definitely not worth $50. 
this is a twenty something dollar cigar. So if it's twenty something dollar, yeah, if fifty dollar, you want to buy it, sure. But I wouldn't buy it. I would not spend fifty dollar on this one. I'm so glad I didn't, because even though it's a good cigar, it, it, I, if I pay fifty dollar on it, I'll be like, why? Why did I do that? So. That's it for the cigar review. If you like the cigar review, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment about your experience if you had a different experience than me. Um, if you have a negative comment, put it on there too. You know, I'll write up a whole essay just for that. All right? So I'll see you guys in the next cigar review. Bye guys.